Welcome to another episode of Pear Tree Ranching. again back again so remember last time we had such a long episode that we decided to cut it off and we're gonna continue that today let's jump right back into it next on our list is gonna be a little yearling and um, he's been doing better and better with catching we can still rub them all over and we've been picking up all four feet so I think today we're gonna start introducing them to the playground and usually I start with the bridge. It's a bigger thing. They can sniff it, move around it, and there's lots of room to allow them to drift and it's not too small of a target and they can start putting their feet on things. And I really use the playground to build confidence with over, under, around, and through. Um, those are kind of the main horsey obstacles. Everything else is just a variation of those things. So you have the balance of confidence with whatever it looks, sounds, and feels like, and then the different types of um, squeezy tight spaces that challenge a horse's claustrophobic nature with again, the over, under, around, and through. So uh, we're gonna get the halter on this little guy and go out there and see if we can't uh, start building some confidence with the obstacle. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, we got Mr. Quigley we're gonna play with. Uh, this horse has been here last year for about three months of training. Made a lot of progress. The owner had bought him and paid a fair bit and he kind of didn't turn out to be what she thought he was supposed to be. There he is on the pole. And so we kind of helped with catching, haltering, leading, confidence building, yielding, and getting them going and they've had some decent success since but she kind of hit the point where it's like okay not the horse for me and so we're offering a little bit of support to kind of help even him back out and kind of make a promo video and have him go so um, nice horse knows a fair bit of nice stuff but we're just going to kind of help on his confidence we're going to give him the back treatment if I didn't already know this horse, we would start, probably start in a round pen and kind of work our way through finding where is his confidence at. But um, I kind of know where this horse has been. I'm not going to just ram right up in there. Uh, we're going to kind of make lines going side to side and shake the bag and kind of make a commotion. And um, that way he can pull and fuss. But on the pole, he has somewhere he can run more than likely he's probably gonna set back and pull on it and I'm aware of that and he's got this funny spot kind of behind the ear so we need to get him under control for safety sake but we're also gonna balance that with approach and retreat and do a lot of rubbing and keeping that in the mix so that's the plan I'm gonna sit you guys on the gate here and uh, we'll start feeling out his bubble and work our way in there because we want to bother him that is the point but we need to teach him how to control his bother versus us manage the chaos for him so we're going to try to bother him only a little bit so that it doesn't push him over the edge so he can find his way back sooner rather than later all right rock and roll <laughs>
Well, hot dang. That was easy. I love when he proves me wrong. I thought he would set back a little bit the way he kind of came out of the stall and had a little spot behind the ears. I rubbed in there and he he really from the get-go was like, I know what to do, Jake. And horse has been here before. I love coming behind myself um, when training a horse and because they already know the things that I've taught them. Even again, this is horse a year ago. You guys have seen Champ. There's stuff that like we got past some of his fear spots and some things he kind of learned in there. All the stuff they learned five years ago when I trained him, um, it, it's all there. And so uh, this horse, you saw him right away. Want to put his nose on it, want to connect, want to interact. He didn't ever make that rope get taut. He might have um, backed off a little bit, but he understands the pull. I've had him tied on it before. And uh, that way he kind of learns to really respect that halter. And he never tried to leave he went i'm a little nervous and so we just allowed him to drift kept the bag shaking until he settled and that's when we would do so we very quickly went from exposure to um, teaching competence and expanding on that by using the technique of approach and retreat so what a good good horse so uh, i'm gonna saddle him see how he goes with the saddle and then as an aside, where you have the vet is coming to go over this horse just to make sure there's no spots. He's had chiropractic work, but I want him to get a good looking over um, with our vet to just make sure there's no uh, medical reasons for him to have any funny spots because it can be super consistent and then find little spots. So we're just trying to figure out what is that little spot so that we can um, take care of it. Because again, he's had a ton of success and then just every once in a while there's that, that little spot and it's just enough that it's not the right fit for this owner. Um, get him saddled up and go from there okay he's saddled and warmed up with the saddle I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna drag the tarp with him I've done it in the past but there he's kind of getting good and settled he just gets real tight in that hind end and feels chased and goosed and grabbed by the saddle at times and um, so I think we can keep going with looking for things to kind of try to scare him enough that he has to turn his brain on and can get himself under control and stop himself and the tarp dragging um, is a great thing to do we looked at that with jack so i've already got the tarp in the round pen it'll be a great little thing to do with this horse and then maybe we'll give him a little ride all right we'll see you in the round pen
Okay. Yeah, you made it. Good boy. He did great with the tarp dragging. I've done that with him a lot in the past. And so he knew right away. Oh, just turn and face. Oh, just stop. It'll stop. Um, he knew what to do right away, which just makes me so proud of him and happy for him and what he's learned in the past. And then we tried putting a lariat around his butt and that tickled him a little bit, but didn't really set him off bad. And we got it up under his tail, pulled on that. And that, again, it made him uncomfortable, but he'd never sold out. And then, um, you know, he carries a fair bit of tension in the nose and the neck. And so we tied him around the one direction and he knew what to do because I've done that in the past with him. So um, he didn't get overly tight and mess with that, but the head was high. So I tried something that I hadn't really done with him and I put it under, you know, in between his front legs and then back to the horn. So when he pulls his head up, it, it gives him a down feel. And when his head is down, he's got lots of slack. Not so much he can step on the rope and get in trouble, but enough that it kind of encourages his head to go down and there's slack when he gets there. And then um, the canter was too difficult and I didn't really want to push it too bad. I just needed to feel where is he today so I can work from there. And I let the trot be easy because he got a lot of head down and relaxation there. So then we just got him um, untied. He, I mean, tried super hard. What a nice horse. He knows a ton of nice things. So we're just digging deep for what's holding him back. So great successful session. Well, another successful day of riding and working and helping these horses. Uh, busy, busy as always. Uh, we appreciate you being here. If you like what we're doing and you wanna get more, uh, make sure you're leaving us a like. And if you click here, you can subscribe. And if you wanna see another video, you can click here. All right, I'm Jake. This is Pear Tree Ranching. We'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.